Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley and this is a TS Tech Talks video guys. On today's video, I want to show you how to make use of the power director to edit your video and um, I'm not going to be doing everything because most of the whole things um, is very similar to other applications. So I'm only going to be doing the most um, uncommon stuff on the power director. Now, this is the name power director. If you do not have it already, go to the Play Store and download power director so that we start making use of it. Now, if you already have it, now click on the power director application to open it and wait for it to open. This is not my first time of opening the application, but if this is your first time, you are going to notice um, it gives you a, um, an option to select a privilege and to allow or to deny. So go ahead and allow the privilege to be able to um, view your videos and your photos on your device. Now to start creating a video on PowerDirector, to start editing your video on PowerDirector, when you open the video, there is this first option that asks you the name of the video. Now go ahead and name your video, any unique name. So I'm going to call this Tutor001. Um, you don't necessarily need to give gap. You can just leave it closed gap. And now there are um, another option. You notice there are still screen sizes that is being displayed right there. If you are making a YouTube tutorial, go ahead and select 16 ratio 9. And if you are making a YouTube short video, make sure of um, 9 ratio 16. If you are making video for your Instagram post, go ahead and make use of 1 ratio 1. If you are making video for a big screen like a TV or um, an Android TV, go ahead and make use of um, the 21 ratio 9. And if you are making use of um, if you are creating video for your Android, um, for your Instagram Reels, go ahead and make use of 4 ratio 5. But if you are making video for um, TikTok, make use of your 9 ratio 16. So if you are okay and good with that, let's go ahead and select the default one for today's video. I'm creating a YouTube video, so I'm going to select the first option and it will start um, rendering or creating the platform for us to create our video. Now, we are ready to start creating our video, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All right, so um, on this particular section, on this area, this is just the menu area where you choose everything that you want to do. This is your timeline and this is these are the folders that are existing where you have your videos now i'm going to go ahead and choose the video that i have but if for some reason guys you want to select a photo instead of a video first you go ahead and choose this particular photo option so since it's a video i'm going to click on the folder where i have the video existing and which is this folder so i'm first going to add my intro and now I'm going to click on it and press this plus icon and you notice it's been displayed. So I'm going to press back to go back to the previous page or previous folders. Now I'm going to select Mobizin, which is actually the folder where I have my main video. Now I have to click and then press the plus icon again. But then guys, this happened. So um, let me go back and then go back again so that you see this play. If we play our video right now, this is how it's going to play. The main video start playing before the intro, but this is not how we want it to look like. We want our intro to play before the main video start playing. And now all we need to do is to move this over to the other area on the timeline. This is the first video that displays on your timeline. This is the second video that displays on the timeline. So we want this video to display first before this main video displays. So all we need to do is to click and hold till you feel a little, um, a little vibration and then you move. You notice that blue icon on the end of it. Um, I'm going to move it to the last area and then leave the um, mouse and then leave the third screen so that it will leave it to where I have it. So now the video is now going to play our intro first before it plays the main video. Now, if I click on play, the intro is going to play before the main video start playing. So you see? So which is very good and is exactly what we want. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys very few things before we um, end up this video. So now let's say you are making a particular video tutorial and you notice this exact area, you want to tell people to click on that particular stuff. You can click on this plus icon to add um, other cool stuffs. You notice everywhere we have icons, we have test and we have everything that you can enter. Now, if you want to have the test displayed there, just click on the test and drag it over to this area where you want it to be. And the test is going to be there. But then if you want to add every other cool effect like um, stickers, you can select these everything you want is being displayed right there for you you can click on them and navigate and move and there are even more um test features you can go ahead and scroll 
scroll there are so many of them anyone you want make sure you don't use the one that have this crown icon right there all the ones that have the crown icon with them is actually a premium test so if you add that it's actually not going to allow you to render your video it will ask you to purchase a premium version so make sure you use the one that doesn't have the um crown icon or a king icon is that a king icon whatever so um i actually undo what i did um let me do that again and now go back so this is the test we just added so i'm going to move it over to this area and now double click on it to edit the test now if it's right there click on it and i want to write ts ts tech doc so once you're done making your writing go ahead and select this option to confirm your write top and now reduce the resolution reduce the size of it by dragging on top of that area and if you are okay with that go ahead and leave that and you also have some cool animation that you can do just go um over all of this area to add everything you want you notice where it says um animation right if you click on this animation you can go ahead and add an is in and is out animation now you notice there are different animations that is being displayed they are all playing on preview the one that has try on it is also a premium animation so make sure you do not add anything like that so i'm going to add this one right there that says unite i'm going to add that you notice um there is an arrow right there which means we already have our animation in this place so let me go ahead and test it out on this is right there the you see so all if right. you are okay with this animation um, go ahead and save up your video but if you are not okay with it go ahead and edit it even further and guys there are even things you can do apart from adding the text you can also add a music to your video now let's say we want to add a music to our video all you need to do is to click on this icon the second icon on top and then you notice it has different um, options right there this is the video this is the photo this is the gif but um actually to add a, a music you need to select the first option so you need to click on music and these are the music that is already on your folder and the rest of them you can go ahead and choose download or make use of the premium version of the software so i'm going to select download which is actually the folder on my device and now i'm going to click on this um i mean let me play it for you now this is a song I think is correct so i want this song to start playing from the beginning of this video so i have to move my timeline to the beginning and now select the amino and then click on add and now you notice it's been added so the song has been added i'm now going to navigate back and navigate back even more now let's play it you notice it's actually playing it's actually playing but my voice is actually interfering with the music so if for some reason you do not want the voice to display you can always reduce the voice just like i did on the previous video you can click on it and um there is this edit button right there um audio mixing choose that and you notice where it has this um speaker I um the speaker icon the first one reduce it on the first one and then click on this area so that it will move back and now go ahead and try to play the video again Now you notice it plays smoothly without any interference for the sound on the video. But if for some reason you do not want to have sound on the video and you want to have both the sound and both the music, you can add them and then do some um, audio mixing. You reduce the voice a little bit so that the music will be playing or you reduce the music a little bit so that the sound will be playing. Now, um, let me say if that is exactly what you want to do, increase the sound, click on this music is already on audio mixing, right? Um, let me go ahead and navigate back so that we'll be sure click on the volume and now reduce it a little bit and then try to play the video you notice now you notice now the difference the music is playing but the sound um, the voice is very loud right now if that is still not enough you still have to do the same thing audio mixing or you just double click and then you see the audio try to reduce the voice a little bit and then play right. you notice the sound is Let's a bit lower right now you notice right so whichever setting you think is going to be perfect just 
just play around both of them and whatever you want to achieve go ahead and do any of that and once you're done editing your video all you need to do is to save or um, publish the video for um, upload now click on this um, arrow icon on the top area and it will give you different option you can upload direct to youtube you can upload direct to facebook and any other stuff but when you upload make use of any of this option if it upload it won't be saved on your device so um even though i'm uploading to youtube i always make use of this particular option to save it on my device so that even after uploading to youtube i might want to re-upload to my facebook so i do not have any issue because the video is already on my device and if you are making use of this option make sure you make use of the first option oh sorry i forgot the first option have to be a premium user so go ahead and make use of 720 to upload the video and if you are okay with that go ahead and hit on the produce and the video will start producing this is also an advert i'm going to click on this to close it off and you can notice our video is being rendered you notice this area it counts from one and once it gets to 100 that means the video has been completed and if you guys are okay with that that is all i have to show you guys on today's video if this video is helpful smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more video i'm going to see you guys on my next video stay safe and peace